Good day dear friends, in this episode I'm going to show you 10 super rare US coins that make really good money at auctions, numismatic pinnacles you should know about. So hit subscribe button below this video and let's get started. This is a very rare Washington quarter with D over S mint mark, 1950-25 cents at mint stage 67, provided with CAC sticker for Excelsior. There are two major varieties for 1950 Washington Quarter, the D over S and the S over D. Both are quite rare, with the D over S being somewhat more rare than the S over D. According to David Hall, the story is that in 1950, the Philadelphia Mint received an order for dies from one of the branch mints, and being one die short of filling the order, a mint employee ever points the mint mark in an already existing die to create the die to fill the order. Then sometime later, the exact opposite occurred, creating the other variety. This superb gem example is one of mere two known at PCGS and none are finer. The surfaces are silvery throughout both sides, with a light of blush toning, sorrow luster, and excellent eye appeal. The curve of under mint mark S is visible at the top left, and the top side of subsequent D, one of several fine cherry pickers varieties known for this issue. Sold in 2013 for $29,375 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this wartime error nickel, 1943S Jefferson nickel struck on a steel planchet. Grade at mean state 66 with full steps designation. This silver gray premium gem exhibits coruscating luster and is essentially pristine. The steps display remarkable detail, slightly uncentered with a full rim at 9 o'clock on each side while the right side legends are partly off the flam. The date exhibits metal flow towards the edge characteristic of a wrong planchet error, since the undersized flam could not completely fill the dies. Aside from a handful of wrong planchet errors, steel scents were only struck in 1943. The error combination of a steel scent planchet on nickel dies is limited by the year's coinage, and since the error hobby did not exist at that time, no such pieces were set aside except simply by chance. Sold on August 11, 2010 for $14,950 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1917 Lincoln Sand with double die verse, a beautiful and pristine example of this challenging rarity. The overall pinkish rose coloration reveals a shimmering gold iridescence at a tilt. The fields are blanketed by a dense, mud-like luster, surrounding sharp and fully undisturbed devices. The 1917 FS-101 is one of the most pronounced double dye verse varieties in the entire Lincoln Scent series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in the motto. Great at Miss Day 67 Red by PCGS, this highly elusive penny ended up selling for $84,000 in 2018 at Stax Powers. This special struck 1964 Roosevelt Dime, so called SMS Dime, at SP66 grade. Rare satin finish issue, a razor sharp satin finish premium gem, example of 1964 SMS Dime. Special mint scents were issued in, in place of a proof sets from 1965 to 1967. However, in 1990s, a number of five coin sets from 1964 surfaced with similar finishes. All coins from these sets are rare. This premium gem SMS time displays razor sharp detail and dusting of champagne lavender toning with no surface abrasions. Eye appeal is outstanding. Sold on April 25, 2019 for $10,200 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 2000 Lincoln and struck on a 2000 dated Sacagawea dollar. Incredible error coin worth a lot of money, graded at mean stage 66 by PCGS. This is a fascinating example of remarkable double denomination coin. The first strike was normal resulting in a Sacagawea dollar that is well centered and fully impressed on the correct planchet. The final digit zero in the date of a dollar is discernible, confirming that it was struck from 2000 dated dies. As a Lincoln cent bears no mint mark, both strikes are presumably attributed to the Philadelphia mint. Remarkably, this Sacagawea dollar then ended up between cent dies where it received sharp impressions of both the worst and reverse. Apparently this second impression was made in the absence of a color. 
or the dollar planchet prevented the color from deploying around the anvil die in the normal manner. The Lincoln Sense Strike is at 530 relative to Sacagawea dollar of verse and all design elements that are present from both impressions are razor sharp. Sold in 2024, $38,400 at Stax Bowers. Moving on to the 1934D Washington Quarter from heavy moto variety. The letters of moto in God we trust are sick and rather flattened on a scarce heavy moto. To further distinguish it from the common medium moto, just look at the center peak of the W in V. On the heavy moto variety, the center peak extends above the outer diagonals of the letter. On the medium moto, the center peak is well below the outer diagonals. The surfaces alternate between untoned silver areas and attractive mottled toning in shades of saffron, amber and russet, the toning deepest on the day and the upper legends on the reverse. Both the profile of Washington and the Eagle High Points are notably free from mentionable abrasions. Sold on June 6, 2013 for $14,687.50. Here is a coin I put to the thumbnail of this video. I'm sure some of you clicked it just to know more about its very rare beauty. 1955 double die sent at midday 65 with FS101 designation. The 1955 double die is the most dramatic variety within the entire Lincoln series. Doubling on date, motto and liberty is very obvious and can be seen with naked eye. The die rotation is significant enough that casual viewers, even non-collectors, can see the doubling. What's almost universal is the lack of complete mint red on these coins. Most were briefly handled, thus, thus dulling the red luster. However, this is one of the few that retained its mint red, most likely from not being handled as the most of others were. The surfaces display even bright color with no obvious abrasions, very rare as such. Sold on January 7, 2016 for $37,600 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1895 Barber Barberdine, the rarest barber issue in Mint State. An outstanding condition senses example of this legendary condition rarity in the Barberdine series. Virtually full in strike and significantly so for issuing mint. Both sides also possess full mint luster in a billowy satin texture. Minimally toned. Both sides present as brilliant as most viewing angles. Silky smooth in appearance with eye appeal to spare this coin will do justice to the finest collection of barber coinage. Sold in 2017 for $42,300 at Stax Bowers. Moving on to this attractively toned 1956D Roosevelt dime with full bands. Graded at mint state 68 by PCGS. Remarkably cherry red and apple green toning consumes the verse of this lustrous and well struck dime. The reverse displays similar shades, although in more delicate fashion, pristine aside from unobtrusive contact on the portrait. Separation is evident on both bands of reverse torch under close inspection. Sold on January 11, 2019, for $8,400 at Heritage Auctions. And the last one, 1982D Small Date Lincoln Sand struck on a bronze planchet, graded as AU58 Brown by NGC, where rare transitional error penny highlights significant coins that will appeal to advanced Lincoln Sand collector and mint error enthusiasts alike. It dates to 1982, an important transitional year in the modern Lincoln Sand series. Sometime around the middle of that year, the mint stopped using bronze planchets in sand production due to rising costs. As a cost-saving expedient, copper-plated zinc planchets were adopted as a substitute and they remain in use today. The new planchets proved more difficult to strike than their bronze predecessors, however. Whereas planchets composed solely or predominantly of copper could be struck hard and fast to maximize the number of coins produced in a given time period, copper-plated zinc planchets required a slower rate of striking and adequately fill the dies bring up to full detail on each piece. Slower striking rate resulted in an unacceptable reduction in output, and to overcome this problem the mint was forced to modify the Lincoln set designs. The alterations were minor and consist of making the digits and the letters in the date 
liberty and the mountain god we trust on the verse smaller and more delicate the result in a smaller recessed areas of the die to fill during striking allowing the mint to return to faster press speed the modified design that the mint prepared for the use with the new copper plated zinc planches has become known in numismatic circles as a small date variety this is technically a misnomer since, as related above, the letters in the word liberty and the motto in God we trust were also modified. The easiest way to identify a small date variety, nonetheless, is by looking at the digits in the date. On the small date variety, the digit 2 in the date is much farther from the rim than is on the large date variety. Sold in 2017 for $18,800 at Stax Powers.